So today I'm presenting uh, uh, something about future changes uh, in precipitation extremes over Pakistan region using the next GDDP high resolution downscale data set. Uh, so let's start with uh, some of the background. Uh, this is uh, just a map to show the mean annual rainfall of uh, Pakistan um, from 1981 to 2010. And as you can see, there is a large uh, regional diversity in the rainfall uh, amount across the country. Uh, in, the, in the southern parts, uh, some in some regions there are there is rainfall less than 100 millimeters, but uh, in the north, uh, most of the rainfall is uh, uh, located here, and uh, the precipitation intensity is maximum in in this region. Uh, major weather systems are monsoon and uh, winter westerlies. Uh, during monsoon season, most of the uh, rainfall is received uh, around 65% of the total annual rainfall. And the uh, poor monsoon zone is uh, around uh, is along the foothills of Himalayas, and uh, the precipitation amount can. Uh, reach up to 700 millimeter per annum uh, in this region. Similarly, winter precipitation is mostly uh, due to westerly systems, which are um, mostly which bring rainfall in in the western and northern parts of the country. And uh, around 25 percent of the annual rainfall is received uh, during this season. Uh, the data set. Yes, looked... I think. Your slide is freezing. Uh, okay. We can see just the title for the slide. So please check your slide. Can you see now? Yeah, I can see, but the, oh, oh yeah, yeah, slide okay. is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the data set which uh, we have used is uh, Global Daily Downscale Climate Projections data set. Uh, the, the resolution of this uh, fine resolution data is 25 kilometer and it, it is available at daily time frequency and there are three parameters the uh, precipitation and temperatures available um, around 22 cmrp5 gcms are part of this uh, data set and uh, baseline data for the generation of this data is gmft global meteorological forecasting data set and uh, historical uh, years are from 1950 to 2005 and for two scenarios rcp 4.5 and rcp 8.5 the daily data is available from 2006 to 2099 uh, the technique uh, which is uh, applied for the downscaling of this data set is uh, vice correction and spatial downscaling uh, this was uh, originally developed for seasonal forecasting applications uh, and basically three major steps are involved in this downscaling. The first one is statistical bias correction of the GCMs, uh, which involve uh, comparing uh, biases with the observations and then applying those biases to the GCM outputs. And then the second step is spatial downscaling. Uh, from the low resolution GCM grid to the final resolution uh, of uh, our interest. And third step is temp temporal disaggregation. Uh, GCM raw data is uh, taken at monthly time scale and then that is temporally uh, disaggregated to daily time scale. Uh, this is just a schema of uh, same uh, procedure. In detail, uh, we take graded observations data in next GDTP data, GMFT forcing data is used uh, for the historical periods. GCM data is also taken and uh, future GCM data is taken. Then the first step, which is price correction, uh, is to aggregate the observations data to GCM scale for the historical period and then uh, cumulative density function, CDF of observations and GCM um, are generated and a quantile map is uh, produced and then that that quantile uh, map is applied to the future GCM strata. Uh, then the next term spatial downscaling which uh, involves calculating the change factors uh, using the bias corrected uh, historical and future GCMs 
and then uh, disaggregating to to the uh, uh, to the target uh, grid resolution is the next step. And the last step is the temporal disaggregation in which, for example, we take monthly data set and then we disaggregate to daily time series. So uh, let's come to the output. Uh, the first, uh, there are two parts of this study. The first one is the evaluation of uh, next GDPE data set for Pakistan. Uh, we want to see how well this data set performs for, for this region uh, for uh, simulating the observed patterns of precipitation uh, over the region. So uh, the leftmost column is uh, observations, just period observations uh, from 1960 to 2000, and uh, the top one is uh, annual uh, mean annual rainfall, and the next one is summer rainfall, and uh, the last one is winter rainfall. Uh, the next column is raw GCMs, as you can see um, on the annual uh, time scale, um, the uh, not only the amount of rainfall, but its uh, uh, spatial location is also quite different from the observation. So, raw GCMs mostly uh, show the uh, maximum precipitation over the northern most, most parts, while um, uh, the, in the observations, the most of the precipitation is located uh, in, uh, in the northwestern and northeastern parts uh, of the country. And uh, uh, this is particularly seen when we plot uh, plotted the summer and winter rainfall. And you can see the main reason for this shift is that uh, raw GCMs fail to capture the uh, summer monsoon uh, uh, rainfall uh, variability uh, over, over this region. And uh, not only the amount of rainfall is very less, uh, uh, but it uh, spatial location is also different from the observations. Similarly, winter rainfall is also, although the amount is uh, quite uh, comparable with the observations, but its location is uh, again uh, not accurate. Um, and the next last one is the evaluation of next uh, data set, which is downscaled uh, data and twice corrected. As you can see that uh, uh, the of the next data set quite uh, well reproduced the uh, observed patterns of precipitation and uh, the amount and uh, spatial uh, variability of the precipitation is uh, captured really, really good. Uh, re not only uh, the summer, uh, winter, but summer moon from rainfall is also um, captured quite well. Uh, this is just a uh, uh, difference between uh, raw, uh, between observations and uh, raw GCMs and uh, the downscale down data set and the end observations. So as you can see that bias of raw GCM um, with observations is quite large, particularly um, uh, regions where there is uh, complex topography, the bias is uh, more than uh, in the range of more than 50 uh, millimeter. So this is uh, also um, uniform in winter and summer. Both, re both uh, seasons show large biases uh, of precipitation. Uh, although in next uh, data set also show some um, some patches with the large biases, but overall you can see there is quite remarkable improvement in, in the simulated patterns of uh, rainfall across different seasons. Uh, th this is some statistical uh, statistics of uh, the next data set, raw GCMs and observations using Taylor diagram. As you can see, the raw GCMs ha had quite large spread in terms of uh, correlation and uh, standard deviation was also uh, quite large and uh, uh, the, uh, the RMS uh, root mean square error was also uh, big, but uh, post downscaling the bias corrected data set, uh, the, uh, which is shown with triangle, is uh, quite close to the this uh, green square, which is observations data set, and not only correlation is improved, but uh, standard deviation is also reduced, and root mean square error is also less. Um, this is again same um, 
for individual GCM, this is summary uh, table of uh, different statistics. Um, there was large uh, standard deviation bias uh, of the raw GCM, which is uh, remarkably reduced uh, in the next data set. Similarly, correlation, uh, there was varying uh, behavior of different GCM, but uh, in next data set across all GCMs, the uh, correlation value is uh, uh, quite improved. Similarly, root mean square error is also a bit reduced uh, in the next data set. Uh, the next step was uh, after evaluation and assessment, uh, we computed uh, some climate extreme indices, uh, which are uh, particularly useful for the climate impacts community of the country. So, uh, the main purpose was to develop a, a data set, a database of climate extreme indices using next data, which can be used uh, by the research and uh, impacts community of the country. We computed uh, the indices recommended by WMO expert team on climate change detection and ind indices. And there are two, um, uh, 20, 34 core indices which were computed using the CLIMPAC tool, uh, which is uh, available online. And uh, the, the graded uh, climate indices uh, were developed for, for the whole country. Uh, these are the main uh, four indices which uh, uh, I'm discussing in this presentation. Uh, uh, the first one is uh, maximum one day rainfall, and the next one is uh, uh, I don't know what these slides are doing. And uh, next one is a five day uh, maximum rainfall, and the next one is uh, collective wet days and uh, number of days with uh, more than 20 millimeter rainfall. All these indices are are relevant to the impacts such as flooding, risks to property infrastructure, roads, and uh, human life. Uh, these, this is a special uh, distribution of the uh, change in these uh, indices uh, across the 21st century. Um, and uh, as you can see, in, I have uh, uh, divided the 21st century into 30 years uh, time slice. The first half of uh, the century uh, is from 25 to 59, and the next is 60 to 95. Uh, as you can see, the uh, this region, which is the cold monsoon region, uh, where most of the rainfall, uh, annual or, and uh, summer particularly rainfall uh, was located, is showing an increase in uh, change in maximum under rainfall. So the extreme Rainfall events, uh, the amount of rainfall in such extreme events may increase uh, in the range of 150 millimeter. So that's very alarming. Uh, similarly, five days rainfall also show uh, increasing behavior. Uh, the next. Uh, this slides are uh, changing automatically. I don't know what's happening. So, just a moment. Uh, similarly, the days uh, with more than 30 millimeter precipitation are uh, also changing, and uh, uh, the amount of rainfall in such days is also. Uh, increasing uh, during the 21st century. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have issue with the slide. I think you can have a time. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
this this is just a uh, return period of these extreme events uh, at different uh, uh, probabilities. So uh, we have computed for five years interval, ten years, twenty five, fifty, hundred years uh, for different stations. Uh, I mean, this information is available for uh, different uh, stations of the country and its uh, impacts community or some researcher need this data set, then it can be uh, used. Uh, uh, this information is at a very fine resolution, so that's quite useful for the impacts community. Uh, as we move towards uh, uh, low prob probability events, we can see that the amount of precipitation extremes may uh, go up. So, although there are very uh, less chances, but uh, still uh, different probability intervals show uh, different amount of precipitation, which can go uh, quite large uh, in, in the order of 200 millimeters. Uh, let's come to the summary. Uh, as I said, this data set can uh, successfully reproduce the climatological observed patterns of precipitation over Pakistan and uh, the correlation is quite uh, good with the observed data set and the standard deviation bias uh, was reduced uh, as compared to raw GCMs and uh, root mean scale error was also reduced uh, for uh, almost all models as compared to the raw GCM. Uh, so particularly, we saw quite good improvement in the complex topographic regions, which are also um, uh, very, uh, which have highly variable precipitation amount, and uh, this uh, high resolution data set is particularly useful for uh, impact studies in those regions. Um, improvement of in the spatial patterns of extremes are uh, closely associated with the level of spatial detail. Uh, and that is associated with the downscaling methodology, which is applied in, in this data set. Uh, similarly, we saw that future changes show that there are long term increasing trends of uh, climate change indices. Uh, maximum 1 day rainfall and 5 day rainfall are uh, increasing significantly across the country, particularly in the core monsoon region and these precipitation extremes. Uh, uh, can have a significant uh, impact uh, in terms of flooding and uh, uh, damages to human life and infrastructure. Uh, although the southern parts of the country show a very less increase. Thanks very much.